Okay, welcome to the second session of today. Uh, so there's one announcement that uh, those are giving the short talks would have received a link, right, to prepare a poster on A, A0 size. Okay, so I think the deadline is today. So uh, those who are giving the short talks, kindly prepare uh, your A0 poster. Okay, so uh, we'll begin with, be, we'll just have 15 minute session and they, a little time for changing. Uh, we won't have questions during this short presentations. Okay, so our first speaker for today will be Deepankar Ghosh and he will talk on non-linearity of regularity of tour over complete intersections. Uh, so first of all, I would like to thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to speak here. Uh, I will talk on uh, non-linearity of casanova mumford regularity uh, of TOR over complete intersections. Uh, so here are the contents. Uh, first, I will give the motivation of our research work. And then we will see that uh, these over graded complete intersection rings, this regularity of uh, X modules, Asymptotically, they have nice asymptotic, uh, uh, nice behavior uh, in the sense that both the functions, uh, these are asymptotically given by a polynomial of degree one. Uh, and similar results holds true for tor when we have this additional condition that ith tor, uh, dimension of ith tor that is at most one for sufficiently large i. And, uh, but uh, if we remove this condition, the dimension of ith tor, it is at most one for sufficiently large i, then uh, this behavior, it can be far from being linear. And if time permits, then we'll uh, discuss the proofs also. Uh, okay, so now let me first uh, say a few words about this invariant. So what is casanova mumford regularity? Uh, it is kind of a universal bound uh, for important invariants such as the uh, degree of minimal generators of CZG modules uh, and the maximum non-vanishing degree of local cohomology modules. So if we elaborate these statements, the first one it says uh, that the nth CZG module of a finally generated graded module over a polynomial ring, it is generated by homogeneous elements of degree at most regularity of m plus n. In fact, one can define regularity of m by uh, taking minimum possible such bound. So what, what does it mean? That it, so regularity of M, it is nothing but the minimum of all integers M such that the nth CZG module of M, it is generated by homogeneous elements of degree at most M plus N. And this thing holds true for all M. So one can take this thing as a definition of uh, casanova mumper regularity. Okay. Uh, yeah, so in terms of CCG modules or free resolution, this definition was given by Eisenberg and Goto, but originally it was defined in terms of local cohomology modules. And so we have the we have the second we have the second application. It says that regulator of M it helps us to compute Hilbert polynomial of M. So uh, what is this? So it is uh, basically, if we know the regularity of a graded module, then for all n greater than regularity of m, uh, we can have that Hilbert function value of m at n, uh, it coincides with Hilbert polynomial value at m. And in fact, this is the main motivation to define this invariant, casanova mumper regularity. So here is the definition. Uh, uh, it is in terms of local cohomology modules. So here we can take any standard graded Noetherian ring and then regularity of a finally generated graded module, it can be defined uh, as maximum of end of ith local cohomology module of M with respect to Q plus plus I. So what is end of this uh, ith local cohomology module of M? So if we consider a uh, finally generated graded module M, so ith local cohomology module of M that is also graded and end of this thing, it is just maximum non-vanishing degree of that graded module. So to get advantage of these uh, two applications, one has often tried to find upper bounds of casanova mumper regularity in terms of simpler invariants, which are comparatively easy to understand. So there are many results in this theme. For example, uh, uh, it is uh, known due to uh, Kartkowski, Herzog, Chung, and Cody alum 
that uh, regulator powers of ideals, it is asymptotically given by uh, a uh, linear function. So what I mean that it is given by a polynomial of degree one, where the leading coefficient it also can be described as an invariant of that ideal. But the constant term and stabilization index, these are not known. So people are studying various classes of ideals to describe uh, that constant term and stabilization index. So here I'll recall a few results which are related to our research work. Uh, so first one, it is due to Eisenberg, Uneke, and Ulrich. They proved that um, when our base ring is a polynomial ring over a field, then for two finally generated modules, uh, graded modules, M and N, if the first tor has, fine, uh, had, has dimension at most one, then regularity of ith tor minus i, it is bounded above by regularity of m plus regularity of n. Uh, in fact, uh, we have a stronger result that uh, under the same condition, we have this maximum of regularity of ith tor minus i, it is actually same as uh, regularity of m plus regularity of n. Uh, for x module, uh, we have this result that when dimension of m tensor n, it is at most one, then maximum of uh, regulator of i at x plus i, it is regulator of n minus uh, initial degree of m. So all these results are over polynomial ring over a field. Uh, so then naturally, one can ask that what happens when we consider uh, an arbitrary standard gated ring. So in that case also, under this condition, the dimension of ith tor, if it is at most one for after certain stage, then we have this bound that the regulator of ith tor, it is bounded above by i plus regulator of m plus regulator of n. So this is floor function. It is just the integral part of this ratio, i plus d by two. Uh, the following result, uh, it controls uh, regularity of x modules uh, over graded complete intersection ring uh, with respect to both cohomological degree and uh, powers of ideals. So keeping these results in mind, one may ask that uh, what is the actual behavior of regulator of TOR and regulator of X modules? So more precisely, we have these questions to study that. Uh, so here we are considering all even indices X and odd indices X separately. So if we take L equals to zero, then this is just giving all even indices x and L equal to one, then this is odd indices x. And we are expecting that the regulator of these x modules, it is given by a linear function like this, where this leading coefficient, it is negative integer. And the regulator of tor modules, uh, it is given by this linear function where we are expecting this leading coefficient that should be positive integer. So in a joint work with Mark Chardin and Navid Nemati, uh, we proved that the answer to the first question, it is positive, even in more general situation. We'll see that later. And the answer to the second question, it is negative in general. Uh, we, we found examples for that. However, if we have this additional condition that dimension of ith tor, it is at most one, then this second question also has a positive answer. So here is the main result. Uh, here is the main result. Uh, so it says that, uh, so this, this is the more general setup. Uh, we just need uh, that, we, we just need this vanishing. And this ring, it can be deformation of any standard gated Noetherian algebra. So in particular, if it is a polynomial ring over a field, so it is satisfying this condition. So if Q is a polynomial ring over a field, then it is satisfying this condition. So particularly we have the result when uh, this is graded complete intersection ring. So we have proved that uh, this regulator of even indices x and odd indices x, these are given by this linear function, where this leading coefficient we have described completely. So it is just one of the degree of fj. And what is this fj? It is just coming from this regular sequence. And uh, for tor, uh, we need this extra condition. Then only we have this, uh, this behavior asymptotically. So here also this leading coefficient, it is one of this degree of fj. Uh, then we have some examples. It says that, see, in this theorem, uh, this leading coefficient, it is actually depends on the base ring, but not on the module. Uh, so it is uh, like we have some finally many choices here in this case. 
But if we remove this condition, uh, then next example uh, we can see that that theorem no longer holds true. So in this case, uh, we are just considering a graded complete intersection ring of co-dimension two, and module is just this one. It is co-kernel of this map, and n is just a mod y comma z. Then uh, we can see that regulate of ith tor. It is though it is given by linear function. But this leading coefficient, it can be arbitrarily large depending on the module m. So uh, in this case, this theorem uh, does not hold true. But uh, also we can see that in this case, we have this dimension of ith tor, it is 2 asymptotically. OK, so we have another example. Uh, it says that even this regulator of tor, it can be far from uh, being linear. So in this case, uh, we are considering a uh, polynomial ring in six variables over a field of characteristic two. And this is uh, complete intersection ring of co-dimension three. And again, this M, it is co-kernel of some uh, map. And N is just A mod X, Y, Z. So in this case, we can see that initial degree of Nth X and regulator of Nth X, both are given by minus N. So particularly, it, it says that Nth X, it, it is concentrated on a single homogeneous component. And uh, on the other hand, regulator of nth tor, it is just given by this n plus f of n, where this f of n, this is a step function. So in this range, it is given by this fixed value. And when n equals to 2 power l minus 1, then it is given by this value. So in particular, we can see that uh, uh, this ratio, because we are uh, expecting linear behavior of regulator of all even indices x, but if it is linear, then this ratio limit should exist. Uh, but in this case, we can see that this sequence uh, limit does not exist. Even limit infimum that is two and limit supremum it is three. So in this case, even this this sequence um, it is dense in this interval two comma three. So we can see that regulator of nth tor it is it is not linear in this case. And here we need this characteristic two because we have verified in Macaulay two that when this characteristic is zero, then we are getting linear behavior. So surprisingly, one one may ask, that one may expect that whether we have linear behavior when this characteristic of the base field it is zero, because we have verified other examples also, and there also we have seen that it is linear. So only when this this characteristic positive, so characteristic two, then we are getting this thing, non-linear behavior. So how much time I have? I think it's okay. So then uh, I can I can state. Uh, so I can give the sketch of the proof of our main result. So we we just consider this general setup uh, where this Q it can be any standard graded Noetherian algebra, and this A it is deformation of Q uh, by this re homogeneous regular sequence f1 up to f c. And we are setting this degree of fj, it is some wj. And we just need this condition, uh, mn finally generated gradient module such that we have this vanishing. As I said that when this is q is regular of finite dimension, then we, anyway we have this condition. So in that case, what we have done, we have just considered direct sum of ith x module. And it is due to Eisenbard operators, we can give a gradient module structure on this direct sum and uh, also on direct sum of tor modules. And to get the result on tor modules, we just have to consider this one. So what we have done, uh, so it is due to Gullickson uh, uh, that we have this result that this direct sum of x modules, it is finally generated, graded module. And using that result, we can have the linearity of regulator of x. And using this result of Gullickson and some spectral sequence argument, what we have proved that these two graded modules are also finally generated. Uh, and here, uh, okay, so using this theorem, we can get the result of uh, regulator of torque. And also, we need to use this result. So one result of Bagheri, Sartin, and Ha. Okay. So that's all. Uh, these are the references. Okay, so let's thank the speaker. Okay.